And he deserves it. He deserves it. For the past 16 months, Bobby has run an extraordinary campaign for President of the United States. I know, because he also went after me a couple of times. I didn't like it. And I mean this sincerely. Had he been allowed to enter the Democrat primary, he would have easily beaten Joe Biden, but they wouldn't let him in. They put up rules. I've never seen rules like you had to have 65 percent of the vote in order to run, you know, little things like that. His candidacy has inspired millions and millions of Americans, raised critical issues that have been too long ignored in this country and brought together people from across the political spectrum in a positive campaign grounded in the American values. Of Just a little bit of his uh, speech. And then one more quick thing I wanted to play for you that I came across on the Twitter sphere. This is all on my uh, Twitter uh, feed here from uh, Riley Gaines. Here we go. People say. I see on social media people saying they're voting for Kamala Harris because she's a woman. Well, guess what? I am voting for Donald J. Trump because I am a woman. That's uh, the same rally tonight, rally game. Isn't that great? I mean, this is awesome. It's very well produced. This is like a concert venue. It, it's the same place Kamala was uh, two weeks ago, but she literally had uh, curtains up covering up the top two rafters because they, they didn't have any people. And it's pretty amazing. Okay, um, but uh, that's just some of the stuff that's on my Twitter feed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. Same handle, at Chris Crock Show, at Chris Crock Show, C-H-R-I-S-K-R. Okay, look at these pro-crime policies. She uh, uh, tweeted out support, and it's still up. She never deleted it. Uh, the Minnesota Freedom Fund, which bails out all these illegal, excuse me, these cr- horrible criminals. Uh, she freed a twice-convicted male sex offender who went on to assault another woman before his rearrest for the, well, allegedly, for the, before his rearrest, a man who left a victim of the traumatic brain injury after being sprung from jail while awaiting trial on another felony assault. Uh, they went from spending a grand a day to more than a hundred grand a day to, sp- uh, to uh, bail out uh, horrible people that are terrorists in their own communities. Uh, she's a former prosecutor, former district attorney in California, should know better. This is off from the New York Post, had a, had a column or actually an article. She um, has still not deleted her post saying donate to the Minnesota Freedom Fund, nor has she denounced what she did. Christopher Boswell already served almost 16 years in prison after being convicted of two rapes. Kamala bailed him out, facing 10 felony counts, including attempted rape, sexual assault, kidnapping against two women. Uh, and uh, the pattern of behavior continued. Uh, he was convicted of sexual assault, released on 350 grand bail that she paid for uh, with her, you know, her, her her supporters that she told to bail him out uh, did. Uh, he was alleged to be dealing meth and after and accused of beating up his then girlfriend after she helped get him released. Uh, he forced her into having oral sex with another man, man while he raped her, um, the charges say. He also allegedly forced that same girlfriend out of the car to her knees while he fired off guns, a gun to scare her. He told the woman, get back into the car where he fired another round out. Out the window and said I could have killed you twice now he was convicted of criminal sexual assault in the first degree promoting prostitution stalking and assault with a dangerous weapon last year after Kamala bailed him out with that fund that she supported and told everybody else to support um, he's scheduled to be released in 2042 she also bailed out uh, again due to her efforts her donation and, and uh, she went they went from a thousand dollars a day bailing people out to a hundred thousand dollars a day because what she did she made she lit it on fire um, George Howard is another man she helped bail out less than a month after he was bailed out he was arrested on a murder charge accused of shooting another man in a road rage incident along a highway, a local highway in Minneapolis. Also, Lionel Timms, she helped bail out. Um, a 10 grand cash bail after committing a felony third degree assault. He was uh, panhandling uh, and repeatedly hit a passenger after she freed him and re- repeatedly hit a passenger, refused to give money, leaving with a fractured nose, swollen eye, multiple abrasions, and needing hospital treatment. A month later, he was arrested again on a new set of assault charges after allegedly leaving a victim with a traumatic brain injury, a fractured skull, and brain bleed after kicking them in an alley. So this is the kind of people that Kamala is responsible for bailing out, and she's trying to tell you she's tough on crime prosecutor. She's not. 
She's a radical BLM Marxist socialist. Um, she also uh, has this dream uh, in the Daily Mail. Her dream of stopping cops responding to 911 calls resurfaces. Uh, and her worrying argument for the U.S. doesn't need law enforcement response. That's one of the many things she said radically against cops. And remember, she supported defunding them. She pu- publicly applauded, uh, applauded uh, uh, former L.A. Mayor uh, Garcetti uh, for uh, defunding police. She said it was great. She loved it. Uh, so she's trying to tell you she's a tough prosecutor. Um, I want to ask you a few questions on this and have you respond before I continue with more policies. Hearing about the policies of Harris and her campaign uh, vice president Walls, are you comfortable with where their presidency would take us? And why do you think she refused to share what her policies would be and is having anonymous people behind the scenes say she's changed on almost every issue? Um, She claims to have switched every single position that she's ever had on uh, the following abolishing ice decriminalizing illegals defunding police mandatory gun buybacks confiscations of your guns nationalizing energy banning fracking banning offshore drilling abolishing the filibuster supporting the green new deal ending private health insurance giving free health care to all illegals mass amnesty for all illegals abolishing prisons ending cash bail ending mandatory minimum sentences ap- imposing a carbon tax child gender reassignment surgery and hormone replacement therapy and uh uh forcing and paying for transgender men to get their sex reassignment surgeries in prison. Meanwhile, her uh, wingman, oh, by the way, another thing she and Joe passed were mandatory EVs, right? You have to uh, forcing companies, manufacturers like Ford uh, to make EVs. Well, Ford just canceled one of the things that they made them do. Large export sport utility vehicle expects to take in Ford. They are canceling plans for a large EV uh, sport utility vehicle that uh, that expects to take a $1.9 billion write-off loss. They're losing almost $2 billion because of Kamala Ford. Uh, they're adjusting their EV plans because of softer than expected demand. They're trying to force us to buy this. She will light, light that on fire and put on steroids. This is Dearborn, Michigan. They were wailed by this. What do you think it does to the jobs? It's destroying them, like Trump says. Um, this is citing tough pricing pressures as automakers resort to aggressive discounts to move their EVs because nobody's buying them. Ford instead offering a hybrid gas electric version. They lost $2 billion because of Kamala and Joe policies taking over their, their policies and forcing them to make something that nobody wants to buy. Um, so uh, I'll ask you again, and um, and then I'm going to tell you this coming up next, a few more policies that you have to hear of the extreme leftist, socialist, pro-crime, hardcore BLM Marxist policies that Tim Walls uh, and Kamala Harris support. And the question is, ha- hearing about these policies of Harris and Walls, are you comfortable with where their presidency would take us? In, over the next four years, and why do you think Kamala refuses to share what her policies would be and is having anonymous people behind the scenes say she's changed on every policy that I'm sharing with you tonight? 800-288-WBAP is our number, 800-288-9227. Get ready to hear some really scary stuff from Tim Walls and what he just signed in a law that will be implemented this year for fourth graders. Um, I'm not talking about tampon, Tim, with the tampons in the, in this, in the, in the, the, the bathrooms. This has nothing to do with that. This has, this is brainwashing them for radical leftist BLM stuff. That's going to, when I read it to you, you're going to be like, this is really scary. Uh, so that is coming up next along with uh, Thomas soul in his column today in the wall street journal about why Republicans had better get on the ball. And I agree with him. That is next on the Chris Croc show at 10 16 on news talk, eight twenty W B A P, And now on FM at nine, 93.3 chime in right now lines wide open 800-288-WBAP 800-288-9227 News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227 at 10.19 p.m. on a Friday night. Okay, uh, a little bit more on the policies. Question I'm asking you to chime in on at 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. Hearing about the policies of... Uh, Kamala Harris and and, uh, her uh, VP candidate Walls, are you comfortable with where their presidency would take us with these radical leftist policies? And why do you think she refuses to share what her policies would be and is having anonymous people behind the scenes say she's changed on almost every issue, but she won't say it publicly, nor will she offer a reason why? It's because she's way out there and there's no way to say that she's changed every single view in her entire life and everything she's been working for for 30 plus years in a public eye. 
she's suddenly radically changing everything. It's amazing. And then the question is how stupid are people actually buy into this and play along with it? It'll be sad if that happens, but I'm feeling much more positive today. By the way, um, I'll share with you in a few. Newsweek actually says, despite a DNC, DNC optimism this week, Donald Trump actually has quietly had a great week. I'll share those details with you in a sec. But here we go. Here's the uh, insane leftist policies of um, of uh, of uh, Walls, uh, her campaign, her VP, uh, the uh, governor of Minnesota. He signed into law the new, quote, liberated ethnic studies requirements for every public school in uh, Minnesota. Okay, he signed signed this into law in 2023. It'll start working this, it'll start putting a policy this fall, I guess. Uh, It requires first graders to identify examples of ethnicity, equality, liberation, and systems of power, and to use examples to construct meanings for those terms. That's uh, first graders. Requires fourth graders to, quote, identify the process and impacts of colonization and examine how discrimination and the oppression of various racial and ethnic groups have produced resistance movements. It requires high school students to develop an analysis of racial capitalism and anti-blackness and are taught to view themselves as members of racialized hierarchies based on dominant European beauty standards. See how this is freaking insane. This is like a leftist Marxist college professor teaching a first grader. I mean, this is in, in a public school. This is insane. Um, they've relied on, listen to this, who's, who's crafting these policies that Walt, the Walls signed into law this year, last year? Committed political activists. This is from the Wall Street Journal, by the way, a mainstream uh, publication. Um, co- committed political activists that, uh, that uh, guided and implement this uh, state, the state's education agenda. McAllister, one of them is a McAllister College uh, professor in St. Paul, Minnesota, where I used to live, a group that aims to be a political force in Minnesota and contend with the status quo of colonial education that prioritizes Eurocentric curricula. Um, this group has made liberated ethnic studies a top priority. One of the professors that is uh, an advisor to this whole law they p- passed for these kids is one of the writers of this uh, the K-12 through ethnic studies implementation document that they're about to release. He wrote a 2022 article, this professor that helped craft all this policy for Walls. Quote, here's one of his articles he wrote in 2022, the black radical the black radical tradition can help us imagine a more just world. He wrote that uh, there were mass uprisings against racialized state violence, which portend the inevitable death of America and social order that prioritizes vulgar economics. He urged schools to join the social unrest and actively combat the greater public health crisis of systemic racism. See what I'm saying? This guy's a freaking crazy leftist. Like that's who Tim Walls has writing the laws for him. For little children in, our, in the schools in Minnesota, all of the whole state, all of their schools. Uh, he retweeted a graphic, this, this radical that wrote all this policy for him. He retweeted a graphic calling for the abolition of pol- policing, declaring defunding the police means abolishing the social order and building a new society. He also, um, and the standards that, uh, that he's put in there are stuff like decolonization, dispossession, and s- settler colonialism. His ethnic studies uh, explores the colonial roots of the dispossessed Palestinian land and the creation of Zionism and the devastating impact of Israeli colonialism. He retweeted a public call for a student walkout for Gaza. He once uh, once signed that this student walkout for Gaza read decolonize Palestine. So this is who her vice president is. You see this? I mean, this is insane, right? Can you imagine this being here? Do you want this for our country? This is what they're going to do. I mean, you think these people are changing all of a sudden once they get elected? No. So this woman is a hardcore leftist, and that's what Barack Obama is, but he's not stupid. He's he's lit, lit, he's kicked it up a massive notch this four years under Biden. He's going to kick it up another massive notch. He's boiling the frog by putting it in the water and then turning it up, you know, slowly, right? You don't drop them in boiling water, right? You, you, you uh, whatever, whatever the saying is, right? How, what is it? You, you what? You, well, I don't know if you let it simmer, but you know, you, you uh, how does it, how, you boil a frog by, you know, slowly it goes up, right? You don't just throw them in a hot thing of water; they'll just jump right out. That's 
or whatever this is some saying that says that anyway so they're doing it they're doing it that way they're going slowly but steady and, and going progressively harder and harder and harder to the left um now uh, thomas soul dr thomas soul uh, a, a revered uh, conservative scholar wrote in the wall street journal today uh, republicans better get on the ball and i agree four more years of disastrous biden harris policies at home and abroad can take us past the fatal point for our country many republicans seem confident they will win this year's election but just a couple of years ago they were equally confident that they would win control of both houses of congress in a red wave Election officials in some states are going to be mailing out ballots less than a month from right now, he says. If Republicans do not discredit what she claims Kamala does within a month, within this month, next four weeks, the vote she gets will be fixed, even if Republicans completely demolish her claims later on. We must do this now is what he's saying. Trump must. Where are these ads? Where's everything? Now, he better unload now because this is nothing. We need to unload. Literally, I have every soundbite of her saying she's going to abolish police, defund police, you know, uh, take away your guns, ban fracking, uh, stop making, stop letting us eat red meat. All of it. I have it on tape. I've played it for you. I've got it. You just go to my Twitter feed. I pin it to the top. It lists these things. And then below it, it's a thread uh, uh, going down and down and down with everything this uh, that's listed for her radical positions. And then it's got her saying that publicly. This is not uh, a speculation. This is her in her own words on TV in front of cameras saying this. So um, there you go. Hey, coming up next, uh, this great article from Newsweek, despite optimism from the DNC this week, Donald Trump has had a great week. I'll tell you about that coming up next on the Chris Crock Show at uh, 1033. But also coming up next is um, the illegals. Uh, Kamala and Joe are now granting 500,000 illegals to get to a be legitimacy so they can stay here and become citizens. Is that what you want for these illegals they brought in? I'll tell you about that next. We'll ask you about that at uh, 1033 on News Talk 820 WBAP. Now on FM at 93.3, Chris Crock Show. 800-288-WBAP is our number. News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Make it a preset, y'all. 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. This is what I got for you. The mass amnesty program, uh, this, this is unbelievable. During the DNC when nobody was looking, Kamala and Joe begun a brand new amnesty program. A mass amnesty program for their illegals they brought in. Uh, Biden-Harris launch, launched this. This is in Fox News today. A new illegal, Im- uh, illegal migrant amnesty. Uh, they kicked off their amnesty program this week. It called it, they call it Keeping Families Together. Keeping Illegal Families Together. They'll make an estimated 500,000 illegal spouses and another 50,000 illegal children, stepchildren, of illegals eligible for parole that means they're here legally and can eventually perhaps be get am, get am, uh, amnesty and citizenship if you are president in the u.s president in the u.s without admission or parole you may be considered for parole in place under this process it's a massive amnesty that congress never authorized says a uh, resident in law and policy at the Center for Immigration Studies. Under a Harris, here's another one, a, a, a former immigration judge. He's a, he's a former immigration judge as well, so that's the, he knows what he's talking about. This is a mass amnesty that Congress never authorized. Under Harris Walls, everybody in the country illegally could eventually be eligible for a process like this. They're seeking, they have invaded us with up to 14, 15 million illegals, and now they're going to make them legal so they can replace us and our votes. It is true. It is, I want to say some things I can't say on the radio, and I shouldn't say. It is true. They want to take the 14, 12 to 14 million illegals they've invaded us with and make them citizens so they can vote and get us out of here and get this country under their control permanently. Um, The former integration judge told uh, Fox News it would hold Republicans' feet to the fire to undo it thereafter. But as we've seen with DACA, another Hussein Obama, former President Hussein Obama uh, policy, DACA, administrative amnesties are difficult to undo. That's what Kamala and Joe are trying to do right now. They unleashed, they un- they uh, unveiled this to this week during the DNC to bury it when nobody was looking. That's who she is. 
And that's what another four years will do. More mass mass amnesty for her illegals as the borders are that she brought in. Uh, I have a couple more uh, horrifying uh, criminals that Kamala let in as borders are. One's a Peruvian gang member who was wanted in Peru for 20, 20, killing 23 people separately, individual murders, uh, murders, and Kamala let him in through Texas. And then about a year or so later, oh, wait, another one I'll share with you in a second, a Bolivian illegal caught and released in Texas, later convicted for assaulting a child, sexually assaulting a child in Virginia. These are Kamala's illegals. She flooded us with all these illegals, raping our boys, raping our girls, killing our girls, killing our boys, and raping and killing uh, our women and dis- developmentally, disabled, de- developmentally disabled people and adult women too. Uh, Bill and Potspur, you've called in. The question is, do you support Kamala and Biden granting all of their illegals now the ability to stay permanently and be- have possibly become citizens? And do you think President Kamala's policies would be any different from the, the ones we have right now in front of us? Heck no. Bill in Pot- Bill and hold on one second. Bill, Bill in Pottsboro, uh, WBAP. Hello, go. Yep, that's right. They're, yep, they're. Uh, that's exactly what they're going to do, uh, and and it's not going to be any different than Biden's. Here's the problem. The problem is they're flying. They were flying these people in at night, and they were taking them strategically to different places throughout the country in the middle of the night and parking them there. That's the six hundred thousand. That's the six hundred thousand per year they fly in directly from from these countries. Yes, two of them from Haiti, uh, uh, in Massachusetts and Boston. One raped a, a developmentally disabled child, and one raped a woman in Massachusetts. Yeah, but what they're going to do is they're putting them in these strategic areas where Trump maybe won by 50 votes or 80 votes, and they're putting them in different areas on purpose so that they can they can basically gerrymandering by bringing illegals in different places and putting them in specific areas uh, in order so when they do vote, it will manipulate the electoral college. That's exactly right, because the other thing is they're going to get more population and more power and more congressional representatives in those areas. That's exactly right. Yep, that's why I think that what, one of the things that should happen on the census is if you're if you're here illegally, you should not be count. You can be counted in the census, but you're not counted in far as far as the gerrymandering, so that they can't so they can't give California an extra two electoral votes because they've got fifty thousand or five hundred thousand or six million illegal immigrants there that they're counting. So now they get sixty four electoral votes instead of fifty three. That's why we have to stop that part from happening. That is exactly right, and Kamala Harris, being the fourth iteration of the Obama administration, fourth term in a row, would continue to destroy this country and have people that are uh, from another other countries all over the world that don't know our values, don't know who we are, but will vote Democrat because they're masters, the Democrat Party, feed them, clothe them, and give them free stuff like in California, zero, uh, zero interest uh, for, uh, housing for new houses and loans from, from the state of California. I mean, this is this is a wholesale uh forgive my language but whoring of our country to illegals to destroy us and yeah yeah, yeah they want 100%. to change everything yeah what yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. that's exactly what they're doing they're you yeah, broke up you, you broke up attention. you broke up for a second bill go ahead start it over again about to rewind about yeah. 10 15 seconds go yeah, sorry about that. They so they've been doing this on purpose for a long period of time. They've been they've been plotting this on purpose. This has been strategic and we haven't been paying attention. It's time we stop this. It is, and I appreciate you very much, Bill. Thanks you thank you for your great call. Please keep calling. You're a good one. Eight hundred two eight eight WBAP is our number, eight hundred two eight eight nine two two seven is our number. Chime in right now, lines wide open. Uh here's more and the questions are do you support Kamala and Biden granting all of their illegals the ability to stay here permanently and possibly becoming citizens? And do you think President Kamala's policies would be any different? Of course they wouldn't. Eight hundred two eight eight WBAP is our number eight hundred two eight eight nine two two seven. Chime in right now. Okay. This uh, is a brand new one that came over today from Bill Malugin. New ICE deportation officers based in D.C. have arrested a Bolivian illegal who was caught and released uh, by Kamala and Joe and at, at the Texas border 2023 last year, convicted of sexually assaulting a child in Virginia, also charged this month with seven counts of possession of child porn, possession of obscene material with a minor. ICE says Fairfax <clears throat> County Adult Detention Center um, in Virginia 
ignored the detainer request for three separate times and repeatedly released him from custody despite his prior child sex assault conviction and current child child sex crimes and DUI charges. ICE DC found him and arrested him in Annandale, Virginia, Monday. Yet another example of sanctuary cities doing this, uh, Bill Malugin said. Uh, So that is on my Twitter feed if you'd like to retweet it. Second of all, uh, here is another one um, from uh, Bill Malugin the other day. Ice Buffalo. Uh, Ice Buffalo arrested a Peruvian gang leader that yesterday who was wanted for 23 murders in Peru, caught and released at the U.S. border in May. Uh, Gianfranco Torres Navarro, leader of... Los Killers, that's the name of the gang, Los Killers, the Killers, was arrested by ICE in Endicott, New York, 145 miles northwest of New York City. ICE says he was caught by Border Patrol on May 16th near Roma, Texas. See this? They're all coming in our state. And in their RGV, Rio Grande Valley, they were, but he was released to the U.S. with a notice to appear. Joe and Kamala said, come in, kill us and rape us, please. Kill everybody and then vote Democrat. It took almost two months before they realized they let in a killer. He's wanted in Peru for nearly two dozen, 23 murders. After being informed, Buffalo ICE-based deportation officers found and arrested him. He's now in ICE detention. Quote, uh, ICE said this to Fox News. Uh, he poses a significant threat to our communities. We won't, we won't allow New York to be a safe haven for dangerous non-citizens. Uh, so there you go. Good job, uh, Kamala. If they're not raping us, they're killing us. Maybe that's why what the literally one of the, if not the biggest celebrity in all of the NFL, will you hear which literally he's one of the absolute biggest NFL celebrities there is. And he and his wife are number one, you know, top celebrities. Uh, where do you hear who, who this woman is, his wife of this top a lister NFL guy who literally supports Trump and is being attacked by the left. This just came out today. She liked one little post on Twitter with Trump's policies. Wait till you hear about this and who this is. This is fan. This is great. This is somebody who's in the news every day at the top. Coming up uh, at 1046 on the Chris Croc Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 933, 800-288-WBAP is our number. Oh, I love this one. It's Brittany Mahomes. That's a pretty big one, isn't it? Pat Mah- Patrick Mahomes' wife. I mean, she's in the news everywhere. She's getting. She's either doing swimsuit pics that are pretty racy, uh, or getting attacked for doing them. Right. That's kind of the big one with her, right? And he's. Isn't, w- it, wouldn't you say he's an A-lister? I mean, he's won the Super Bowl, right? Two years in a row. What's that? Oh, she. She threw beer on people. A beer or some sort of a drink. Why not? I'm just kidding. Um, she liked a Trump post from President Trump that has policies bullet pointed on Instagram and they attacked her. So she uh, she she actually put a post up about why, what her reaction to that. But I'm going to read first to you, uh, journalist Colin Rugg, and you can see this on my Twitter feed. Um, what in God's name? Why in God's name are you not following me already? If, I don't know why you're not, but so you can do that right now. Uh, Get out of the cave, crawl out of your hole uh, that you've been hiding under, the rock, and follow me on Twitter, at Chris Croc Show. That's at Chris Croc Show, C-H-R-I-S-K-R-O-K. It's late, but join the party. I'm also on Instagram myself and on the Facebook, at Chris Croc Show. Same spelling, same handle for all three, at Chris Croc Show, C-H-R-I-S-K-R-O-K. Brittany Mahomes, here you go. This is from journalist Colin Rugg, just in. NFL quarterback Patrick Mahomes' wife releases a statement after, quote, liking one of Trump's Instagram posts. <laughs> she has to release a statement. All she did was click like. She appears to now be defending. Oh, here. Brittany Holmes is under fire by leftists for, for liking his tr- platform on Instagram. Brittany appears, appears to now be defending her support for Trump, blasting the haters for not healing from the issues they had from childhood. I love that. Um Quote, to be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason for your, that your brain is, there's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well. And uh, actually, the post said at the top, I mean, honestly, and then the little paragraph below where she says to be a hater as an adult, you know, blah, 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 you got the deep-rooted issues. Now, here's what she liked. It is... Uh, 
quote, it's the real Donald Trump. You know, it's his, uh, his feed on Instagram, and it's got the 2024 GOP platform, Make America Great Again. Uh, seal the border, carry out the largest deportation of all these illegals and inflation, make us the dom- dominant energy uh, producer, stop outsourcing, turn the state in the United States into a max- manufacturing superpower, large tax cuts for workers, defend our Constitution, prevent World War III, end the weaponization of the government against the American people. Amen, my brother. Stop the illegal migrant crime e- epidemic, demolish the foreign drug cartels, rebuild our cities, crush gang violence. Uh, lock up violence offenders, um, strengthen and modernize our military, keep the U.S. dollars the world's currency, re- reserve currency, fight and protect Social Security and Medicare, fight for and protect them, cancel the electric vehicle mandate, cut federal funding for any schools pushing critical race theory, um, keep men out of women's sports, Deport pro-Hamas radicals. Amen. Thank you. Secure our elections. Unite our country by bringing it to new and record levels of success. And uh, for doing that, she was uh, attacked. God bless Brittany Mahomes. I don't care about what, whatever she acts a fool. She has uh, got her head screwed on straight for po- politics, at least. Right? Um, 800-288-WBAP is our number. 800-288-9227. I don't know what you want to say about that, but you're welcome to call in. Um... Speaking of the, uh, the the World War III issue that he mentioned, Trump zeroes in on the national security uh, on national security first. Uh, top, excuse me, let me repeat this. I apologize. Trump zeroes in on national security at his first outdoor rally since the assassination attempt. This is the other day, but he said the world's on fire. And I've been meaning to get to this in the past couple of days. The DNC blew it all up, uh, you know, for the front headlines. Uh, but Trump said since Afghanistan catastrophe, it's been open season on the American and our allies. And he's exactly right. The world is on fire. And uh, another one, just to show you how pathetic the difference is between our world, our national security under President Trump. Biden-Harris Department, and this is what she'll continue doing for the next four years if you elect her, Biden-Harris Department of Energy is, official is calling for queering, as in, you know, you're, you're queer, if you're, you know, people say they're, I'm queer or whatever, queering nuclear weapons. That is the Biden Energy Department official that she and Joe put in there. She wants to, this person wants to queer nuclear weapons as part of a ra- radical DEI agenda. Um, this is uh, a, uh, a top official in the Biden-Harris administration, special assistant to the National Nuclear Security Administration. Uh, this person believes in eradicating purported white supremacy in the nuclear field. What the, I mean, what, what, what is this? Um, you know, I, what are they talking about? Pushing a button here, it's not working. There it is. Sorry. What's wrong with me? What the hell are you thinking? There we go. Thank you, Dr. Phil. He was not working. I kept pushing the button. It didn't work. Um, the uh, This is also from uh, pollster Mark Penn on the speech that uh, Joe Biden gave this week a little earlier when they hit him on that Monday night after midnight uh, Eastern time. Biden's midnight speech so caved to the anti-Israeli lobby that he didn't even use the word Israel. Spoke of only a ceasefire and hostage hostages, adding that there are good people on both sides. He literally did what he what he lies about and says Trump did about the fine people on both sides. That's a hoax. He did not say that. He went after white supremacists in that speech. Uh, but they provide the hoax for you. They lie to you because that's the only thing you can do to get you to be against Trump. Uh, Biden tried to use here. Here's another one that just came out in the Wall Street Journal yesterday. Biden tried to use arms sales to pursue to pressure Israel. And it didn't work. He literally tried to say, I'm going to I'm only going to sell you certain weapons and arms if you uh, do a ceasefire and do what I tell you to do. And uh, Israel and Netanyahu flipped in the bird. Just just disobeyed him and did whatever they wanted to do, which is good. Uh, another one, New York Times reports Biden approved a secret nuclear strategy refocusing on China, the Chinese threat. A highly classified nuclear strategic plan for the U.S. for the first time reorients the Americans, uh, America's detergent, detergent, deterrent strategy to focus on China's rapid expansion of his nuclear arsenal. Another one from the New York Times. Um, I think this one's from the Times. Hold on. Uh, Moscow under attack. It's he's talking about how um, Moscow, Putin's lost two thirds 
of his men in the military, and the war rages on. Ukraine is now uh, inside, a, has taken over large swaths of Russia, believe it or not, that uh, are the same size as what Russia's taken over Ukraine. War is continuing to just fly out of control. And remember, mistakes are, war is begun by mistakes, a, a wider war. This is the kind of crap that will happen and continue to happen under a Harris presidency. No, thank you. So, yes, the world's on fire, and it won't be with the Trump administration. It'll all be ended stat. Uh, I want to tell you this, too. The I love, coming up next, I should say, how do you think RFK Jr.'s withdrawal from the race, the big story of the day, how will that affect Trump's chances, and what role should, the, should RFK Jr. play in Trump's administration? That's next at 11.03 on the Chris Crock Show on News Talk 820 WBAP, and now on FM at 93.3.